Hi, this screencast will show you how to enter and update your profile information in Handshake, Hofstra's new career management system. You got to Handshake by accessing the Career Hub at hofstra.edu slash career hub, using your portal credentials to log in and selecting the Handshake icon. Now, if this is your first time accessing the Handshake system, this is the screen that you will see. There'll be a prompt that pops up that starts taking you through the steps that we'll walk through today to enter information into your Handshake profile. If you have accessed Handshake before, don't worry if you don't see this screen. You'll go over to your left side menu and select Profile, and all this information that we're about to walk through will come up and you can enter in the information in the appropriate spaces. But right now, we'll start going through the information in the prompt so that you can see where everything would go in your profile. Now the profile is an integral component of Handshake because not only can you use the Handshake system to find jobs and internships, but the employers looking to fill those jobs and internships can also find you. So this works very similarly to how employers are able to search your profiles on LinkedIn if they're looking to fill certain positions. So it's very important that you have your profile information complete and as up to date as possible. So the first thing that you're able to see when you get this prompt is that employers are looking for candidates like you, so they want you to know that employers are going to have access to your profile. If you're okay with this, you want to keep this box checked right here. Yes, I want employers to be able to find my profile. If you don't want them to be able to find your profile or you're not sure and you want to wait until it's complete before you allow them to do that, just make sure you unclick that checkbox. So now we'll click Get Started and we'll start working on the profile. So first, it'll tell you a little bit about yourself. You want to make sure that this information is correct. And now you can begin to enter in your education. Once you've entered in your education, you can move to the next slide. Here is where you'd enter in your work experience, and this information can just be copied and pasted over from your resume or your LinkedIn profile. You can see here that I've entered in my information for this particular work experience. Now, if you haven't created a resume before, you can start to think about not just the things that you've done, but also some of the skills that you've gained as well. So when you're thinking about things that you've done in these positions, you want to keep in mind how can this apply to a position that I'm applying for. And if you have any questions, come over to the Career Center and we'll help you kind of figure out how to word everything. So next, the prompt will ask you about extracurricular activities or maybe some projects you might have done for some of your courses. And this is what it'll look like. So now we'll move on to the next section. And this section asks you about some different skills that you have. So these could be things such as you know, Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, different technical skills that you may have, hardware, software you might be familiar with, or it could be some more characteristic skills like customer service or leadership. Once you've entered in all your skills, your profile is complete, so we'll click Next and Finish. And it'll take you to your news feed, where you will see some different information about things that are going on here at Hofstra University. So to check out all the information that's in your profile, we'll go back to Profile on the left-hand menu. Now remember, if this was a second time you were logging in to the Handshake system, you would click here to enter in your profile information. And now we see all the information that we've brought into the profile. So we can see down here we've got our work experience, our extracurriculars, and now other information that you can add in that isn't prompted initially are external links to things like portfolios or other online information, courses that you may have taken, and organizations that you might be affiliated with, any national or professional organizations. And you can see your skills are right down here to complete the profile. So that is the information on how to input your information into the Handshake system. So once you've completed this profile, you can upload your resume and start to look for job and internship postings and apply to any that you see interesting. Now, if you have any questions or you'd like us to take a look at some of your information before it goes into the Handshake profile, feel free to get in touch with us here at the Career Center. Thanks.